Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome back. Let's play Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. Where last left off, we were, um... What we're doing? We were in the Monko Reactor, and uh, we had a, an encounter with Angeal, and ended up falling out of the Monko Reactor and into this church. And we were awakened by this young lady here named Erith, who uh, likes her flowers. And, um... The... The meeting, our meeting with Aerith here, was very much like, um, shadowed basically the meeting of Aerith in Final Fantasy VII, where a cloud falls out, or like falls down and, uh, is, uh, awakened by Aerith, I'm pretty sure. Let's speak to her again. Let's uh, see if there's anything of use. Mingar full of flowers. Wallet full of money, remember people. What? Looked like some st something dropped on me. I, 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 I could have sworn it's like, like a drop of water hit, like fell on Zack's head. She spends all of her days, all of her hours. Where are you going? I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'll take you there, okay? Where? Hmm. I'm not really sure. <laughs> you just want to spend more time with me, right? Yeah. What? Are you? Did you? Making him blush, Aerith. You must be on. You must be under under the plate, Sector Five. This is the slums. Yeah. Oh man, what the heck? If you walk a little, you'll be in the central slums. There's, there's lots of people, and you can go about the plate from there, too. So I'll, I'll walk you there. If I can get out onto the streets, I guess I can figure things out from here, from there. Okay, lead the way. Just follow her, I suppose. We hate Shinra people. What do you expect? Shinra people don't care a bit about anything below the plates. I'm guessing that the plates that they're referring to are like physical or a physical uh, thing. Oh, nice. I'll, I'll, I do enjoy how they're like a bit late. Aerith has a mean walk. Folks above the plate throw stuff away all the time, and it ends up down here. They may be trash to you, but for us, they're a valuable source of income. Uh, Aerith? I know um, dumpster diving is supposedly um, uh, a nice hobby that many people have. Don't sweat it. I'll protect you. I'll handle it. You can? Just stand back so you don't get hurt. Not very good if you got these monsters uh, running around the place. Oh, yeah. 
I feel so safe with you, Zack. Is that right? Yeah, you can beat up monsters. You're so strong. Strong, huh? Something wrong? No. <laughs> it's nothing. Anyway, those things weren't tough at all. So, did I look cool? A little? Hmm. Hmm? Beats me. Aerith, in these types of situations, you should be more... Hey, Zack. Let's go, okay? Uh, hello? Zack's got a bit of a crush. Let's see what this woman has to say. People from the slums can be categorized into two groups. Those who hate Shinra, and those who idolize Shinra. I'm the latter. Someday, I'm gonna get me a Shinra executive so I can live the good life. I'm not sure what that means, like, get, get a, a Shinra husband? Hey, wait. Okay. marketplace it's fun because there are so many stores you can go above the plate from there too hello fella nice bowl cut you're in the slums of sector 5 an economic boom never did us any good but beyond the gates is the market and down the streets the church the other way, by on the rubble, is a Sector 6. There's a park near there. Right, I'll go there eventually, Aerith. Ooh. Hollander's t-shirt. It seems Hollander's favorite t-shirt is the one with the logo of Benora's famous canned apples. Can a guy love apples that much? Or do you suppose he has other ties to Benora? Apparently, with all the confidential information they handle, guys in the science department aren't allowed to leave the company, even they even if they screw up or lose out in the rat race. And that puts them under a lot of stress. Maybe Hollander's t-shirt helps him relieve some of that, huh? You're a crazy guy, Kunzel. Hello, girl. Hmm. Let's get this girl's missing her uncle, sadly. Speaking of which, uh, when he said marry, when they were talking about marriage, um, little tidbit about Final Fantasy VII. I, I may have mentioned this in my first Let's Play. But, um, I used to uh, think, when, when you meet Aerith, um, she talks about having a boyfriend. Uh, she talks about like, uh, oh yeah, my, my, I used to have a boyfriend that looked just like you, Cloud, or, or something like that. And um, I always thought that uh, my my first thought was that uh, she was talking about Sephiroth. That like I, I thought that uh, Aerith and Sephiroth were uh, a couple maybe or something. But uh, turns out that it's all Zach here.
kind of stuffy down here. Really? It's always like this though. I know what it is. We can't see the sky. Duh. See, that'll be a weird feeling like if, like if you lived indoors all your life and like first then you saw the sky for the first time. <laughs> there's, there's like a line in Fallout 3 where uh talking to Moira, whatever her name is, um, you, you can like say to her, like, cause like you've been li living in the vault all your life, you can like say to her something like, man, the ceiling's so, so tall in this, in this room. Hmm. Looks like an interesting place. Maybe I should take a look around. Whoa. Watch out. Hmm. I'm oh, sorry. Be more careful. Oh, I know, I know what's going on here. Little fella just uh, pickpocketed us. Hello there. That, are you not the boy? All right then. Children in the slums. Soldier members, I thank you for your daily hard work. On the ground beneath the, our aerial city of Midgar and in the shadow of its plates lie the slums. They also symbolize one of Shinra's distortions. There are reports of children forming gangs in the harsh environment where they call home. To look away from, from this will surely cast a large shadow on Shinra's future growth. It is my hope that we members of Soldier can rise up to address this distortion. Hey buddy. I'm a carpenter, traveling all over the world. This lumber's mine, no one steals from me. Can I actually shop though? I guess I don't have any money though, anyway. What was the soldier here doing? Hello, ma'am. Welcome. Have all the items you need. All right, then. Let's uh, head after this boy. Did he go this way? 
Hey, you there. Did you see a kid come running this way? A kid? Can't say I have. The path leads above the plate. Children would never come this way. Damn. Looking for someone? Yeah. And you lost him. Yeah. Was your wallet stolen or something? How do you know? That's what I've been doing, buddy. That's exactly what I've been doing. So a boy running by the accessory shop. Well, is this not the fella? Oh, so we, we could speak to him earlier and he didn't say anything. We'll trade for a potion. That's hilarious. Oh, I, I thought that he was going to run off. We just got gypped for three potions. I wonder what that little kid could do with three potions. Oh, Aerith! Did you find the kid? Not yet, but we'll find him soon, I promise. I'm on to you, buddy. Hey, you got a minute? What is it? I'm looking for a kid who stole my wallet. Can you help me catch him? He looks like this and he's about yay tall. Kid, no problem, I got your back. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'm gonna take a look around the area. If you see him, you know what to do. Oh, what? Give me the info you have, and I will get this kid, and he will, uh, he will inform his parents, if he has them. Oh, and now it's gonna be a, a scene of him talking to the, oh, there he is. Oh, buddy, what the heck? Just staring at the window. Oh, Aerith. What the heck is she even doing? Did you find the kid? Or, uh, oh, did you find the kid? <laughs> no, I can't find him, but I promise I will. Trust me. Little boy likes little girl. 
I'm going to call the video there, and uh, hopefully next time, folks, we'll uh, catch this little fella. So, next time, it's been uh, Crisis Core, Final Fantasy VII. Next time, look it out.